A lot of what we do at Profit is underpinned by getting the foot restored to, to a well-functioning unit of your body. Um, so I'm going to show you a series of exercises that we use a lot in store to help people, particularly with their big toe. We, we consider the big toe a steering wheel of the body, um, and if that's not functioning properly, then it can cause a lot of different problems within your gait cycle, so we'll take a look at that. So the first exercise we're going to do just uses a small ball. Uh, spiky ball is always good because we can use this later for other exercises, but we're just working on the function of the big toe. So you flex the big toe into the ground and um, put your feet over the top of the ball. And what we're doing is we're just clawing the toes slightly to pull our foot around the top of the ball and then slowly working that back the other way to go into a full flex position on the toe. Now one thing people will do here is sometimes I lift their foot to do this. We're looking to get this purely from the toe. So it's clawing the toe and then just letting that roll and drop back. We can then go straight into the second exercise, which is to claw over the top of the ball and actually practice clenching and lifting up the ball slightly as well. So we can come back into the same position, claw over the top, work on those extensors actually picking up the ball so we're getting a bit of strength from the foot as well. The third one we'll do with the ball is actually a bit of a massage for the arch of the foot as well. It's always good to do a bit of this, particularly after you run. So the arch that runs through the inside of the foot can get particularly tight. So we're looking to keep the toe relaxed and actually just roll this ball back and forward through the arch. This exercise here is just working on isolating this big toe and making sure it can move independently to the rest of the foot. A lot of the times when we try to do this, you'll find we're lifting all the toes to try and get the big toe to move, but we want that big toe to move on its own. So it's just lifting it up and down whilst trying to keep the rest of the toes relaxed. And then we do the reverse of that as well. So we lift all the toes up, we try and work on just getting the big toe to come down without the rest of the toes to come down. A lot of times when we do this one, you'll find we'll pronate the foot to do that. We want to keep the foot stable and straight, and just work on getting that big toe up and down.